stopped the record. There we go. Oh, yeah. uh, welcome to the July 21st edition of the Chaos Common Metrics meeting. We have a few things on the agenda. Um, I checked and there were no open issues or PRs, so I took that off the agenda. Um, so we have reviewing old metrics, which there was an action item from the last meeting. Um, and then time waiting for reviewer action. I think we deferred that um, last time, so we can talk about it this time. And then uh, context areas, which which Matt just added. Yeah, I can, I'll explain that when we get there. Okay. Um, well, why don't we why don't we go ahead and just start at the top? So, uh, Kevin, do you want to talk about the reviewing old metrics since you had an action item in in this in the past agenda? You're on you're on mute. Yep. Yeah, Kevin. Trying to remember what that action item is, and if I did it, <laughs> did you did you come back from the loss of internet lottery? I did. Oh, well, congratulations! Yeah. It's been very spotty here the past week. So, uh, so I think I, if I were if I remember correctly, this one was um, you were going to start with types of contributions because there was some some reformatting that needed to happen, um, and I think you were going to take a shot at that issue for that uh, metric. Let's see. Need to update some formatting of bullet lists. Updates are in the template. So I made the updates to the template. Did I make the updates to this document? Yeah, I think the question is, did you start a new doc with um, the types of contributions to update it with the updates that are in the template? That's how I remember it. Does anybody else remember it differently? It's been a while. Yeah. I mean, you're just talking kind of about the process, Don. Like, yeah. 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 I think Kevin took the action item to do this for types of contributions. I don't remember why we decided that one, but. Yeah. So, so what am I doing exactly on this? It's, I'm, I'm supposed to edit the. Yes. So this is this is tied to the review of all of the metrics that have been released. And oh, so this one has this one has bullets within bullets. Yeah, this one's gonna break. <laughs> yep, I think that's what you were gonna okay. do. Okay. All right. <laughs> and then bring it back and see if there are any other updates we need to make to it. But I think okay. you were gonna start it just to get it in. Okay. Good working yep. order again. I am. I am very sorry. I. Uh, I did not remember taking this one on. Uh, I'm putting it on my list. I will have it done before next meeting. No worries. And then the hope is is that on the if I'm looking at the spreadsheet here, I can share my screen. Yeah. Um. So the the hope is is that we can you know, review like organizational diversity and bot activity just that we can review every green row um mm -hmm. just to make sure really kind of two things that it makes sense when you read it just as a human and then that it follows the template i think most of the the new template and i think most of the ones in common do follow the new template so i don't think that's a big issue i think evolution is the one that has the biggest um like concern about the template so in in DEI, like this is kind of the way that we're doing it is um, so like, for example, with diversity access tickets, this is the released metric right here. So this is and so what we're doing is we just take the released metric and we copy the raw and we just make a new Google document. And then we make any edits or changes in that Google document. And then we can bring it back to the working group just to say, here, here are the really subtle changes that we need. Do you all agree with it? And then from there, we can like issue a do a PR to actually get the changes. And so some of these, and then like we have to include it in the translations repo. Like there are a couple of little things after the fact that need to be done. Um, so we've kind of we did a, originally assign people to like do all of the metrics, take a look at the review of all of the metrics in each of the respective working groups. 
that seems to be a pretty big ask. So for example, saying, hey, one person, can you take a look at all of these green rows and, and modify them? So um, we had Oma and Precious also uh, agree to, to take a look at some of these, um, along with myself in DEI. Reviewing a metric can take Sometimes it takes about five minutes. Like you just, you read it, it reads pretty well. You do a little bit of like grammar updates, you know, just not much, but the metric is actually really good. So I'd say 80% don't take very long. And the hope is, is that for this next release, we can do this with common as well. And maybe we could ask people to just on this call to maybe take a look at Adopt, or a, adopt a common metric adopt a common metric and just <laughs> just go get the raw file create a google doc and then just give it a give it a read and if you think it's okay then cool no problem there and if it you know needs to be talked through in this group then we can do that do we do we want to each just take one of those now yeah. so that we can we can get that um Okay, so yeah, and I did it, Oma, Oma, Precious, and I just did it in remarks. You know what I mean? Just like in this remarks column in E. Yeah. Okay. You know, like occasional contributors, Matt G, on this. You know what I mean? Yeah, and I can do, I can tackle organizational diversity. Okay. But that was okay. one of the first ones we did. And I'm the new, asking, and that's probably going to be a hard one, but I'll, I'll agree to it. Okay. <laughs> And the new the new guidance is to create a Google Doc for this. I think so. that seems to be okay. the that seems to be the best workflow wise for people. So okay. just come in here, obviously just copy this metric, yes. and then create a Google Doc and put a link to the Google Doc here in remarks. And then just you know if you are taking on a metric, Kevin, just kind of track your changes on anything that you might propose, and then we can in two weeks we can bring it back to this group. Okay. And you're, and you're like, hey, these are the minor things I changed. And then if we all sign off on it, then we can go ahead and do the PR. We can get, we can, you know, kind of push it through that way. Okay. Yeah, that's fine with me. I just wanted to make sure because there's been, there's been different guidance in, in other working groups. Yeah. Well, so, I think the different guidance yeah. was when one person was doing it. And now that we kind of have distributed the work, I think this seems a little bit easier. I did the same thing in the evolution, like the two metrics I'm reviewing. So I copied okay. everything, but I haven't put the link in this uh, Excel sheet, but I rather put the link in the meeting minutes of that working. Okay. Group. Maybe you could put it in the sheet for evolution too. But okay. Just, okay. Yeah. This seems to be the best doc for tracking all this stuff. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So I added all of this to the uh, minutes just to help us remember what we, what we agreed to uh, do. Yeah. Um, so you can see it there and I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna put it on my to-do list now. Cause if it's not there, I will forget that I ever said I would do this. Uh, question. Are we putting these, are we just creating a, any old working doc or does this need to be in the, uh, uh, chaos folder? I had so just my practice is I have access to the folder. So whenever even I create a new metric document or even review, I keep it in the chaos folder within that working group. So like we have each working group folder and we have metric within that folder. So I try to keep all the docs over there. That's my suggestion is if we keep it over there, it will be helpful. The, the the problem with that is folks like not everybody has access yes. to that. So like, yeah. I think Oma and Precious are just creating their own Google Docs because they're kind of temporary yeah. anyway. Yeah, I was just yeah. thinking that they're not, we don't keep these around permanently. We just use them long enough to, to make the pull request. So I think it's, yes. yeah, it's probably fine. Yeah. But it's just a matter of practice for myself. It's like, I always keep them in those folders. Yeah, I think you, since you already have access to it, you might as well. Yes. That. Yeah. Um, okay, so I took organizational diversity. Matt took occasional contributors. I take technical for and clones both. These are new metrics. I don't think we need much review, but I'll take on these two. I'll take okay. contributor location because how hard could that be? 
<laughs> I'm already I'm already on types of contributors, so yeah. I suppose I will I will stay there. Uh, where is that? Uh, no, I think it was down. I don't. That's the wrong one, Matt. I think it was. I think it's down. Uh, yeah, that one. I was clicking on your screen on the screen share, and it wasn't letting me edit it. <laughs> can Can you share the Can you share the link real quick to the uh, the spreadsheet? Uh, yeah. Is it not? It should be in the minutes. Usually, it's the top of the minutes. Yeah, yeah. it is. It's yeah. Just, ah, never mind. It's hidden in plain sight. It's, there we go. For DEI, I took on, I took, I did code of conduct. I thought that one would be easy. That took like two months to fix. <laughs> yeah. All of the, all of the metrics I've done so far have actually, they've taken more than five minutes. <laughs> yes. So. Right. For, for evolution, I've done one and it took me like two hours to go through all the changes. Okay, so where are we? So where are we putting the where are we putting the link to the uh, the Google Doc? Over here. Uh, it's going to be in the that column you're typing in. The one that has my name e, in it. Column yeah. E. Okay. I forget so what the header is, but like like that. Yep. That is that is what I understood the instruction to be. Yeah, just put the link in in this remarks column. You can shorten it, you know, link to proposed changes, but yeah. And then, yeah. Whatever you like, anonymous dinosaur. Okay. Uh any other any other questions or things on the time waiting or sorry, on the reviewing old metrics? Got some action items. I think we're all set. Uh, but no, do you want to talk about time waiting for review or action? You yes, had some I, action items. Yes, I have two action items. I, uh, the metric is ready for the release. We were waiting for the uh, visualization from Grimoire Lab, and I haven't received hmm. any from them, and even from the other Sean. Even from Sean, that guy. Yes. Huh. Oh. <laughs> I think Sean's on the call here. Unbelievable. Hey, Sean. Yeah, no, it's, uh, I'm going to have to have a serious talk with him about this. <laughs> so uh, for Sean, I haven't pinged the Sean, but for Grimoire Lab, I have uh, Slack in the uh, channel, but nobody responded. So I'm assuming there's none. So. Yeah, I mean, there's a point where I guess you can only ask so often. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I would um, I would DM Georg directly and ask him okay. if he have one. Um, okay. Because the thing to keep in mind is that it, it is July in Spain, which means that pro I'm going to guess that a lot of the team are out on holiday. Um, okay. And and Georg would know whether they have it or not. Um, okay. And, and who to talk to to get it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I'll do that. Otherwise, the metrics are ready. We just need the visualization and then create a PR. Okay, cool. Um, next up, Matt, context areas. Yep, so this is, um, these are areas that we're gonna be adding to the metrics. So, you know, the synonyms row, we're kind of, we're getting, probably removing that and adding like, tags. Actually, I should, these should be context tags. That's what I should call them. And so each metric is going to have um, up to two context tags. And this is to help with the knowledge base, like searching in the knowledge base. And so yeah, these should be tagged. A question on that. Uh -huh. Are we moving the focus areas to the context tags? That was discussion in alignment with that too. Yeah, I think the first step is to create these tags. So we're just and so the each metric will have two kind of tag lines. One is these context tags, which will be drawn from a this proposed list. This list can change a little bit. And then 
there will be keyword tags, which will be, they'll be more like an academic paper where the authors can just kind of, you know, um, provide any words that are very, very specific to that particular metric that, so these are much broader. And, and none of these things have anything to do with focus areas. How dare you? I assume that is I going to be ultimately in a focus area. Thing. I was not going to walk down it. back that path. <laughs> I'm just joking. So, so the <laughs> focus areas are about how we do the work. Uh, the context context tags are how we present the work. So they're they are not related to each other. So really, what the question here is. I'm not asking that we like take a look at this and say, okay, organizational diversity, you know, which two tags are best from an organizational diversity perspective. Um, the, the question really is, are these the right set of tags? These are very high level. So don't, these are not meant to be very specific. Um, and would these be good definitions for for these tags. So I'm not asking about assigning those yet to metrics. It's just about. So where would um, things that we currently have under place? So where would like the platforms event locations, things like that fit in. Oops, sorry, we took a look at the event locations. Mm -hmm. My first guess would that would have a tag of event. Correct. And probably. Uh, no, 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 those aren't the. Uh, let's not do that one, wait a minute, because I think that uh, one is I don't think that's an, okay. is that actually to do with events or is that to do with like, forget that one for a minute, collaboration platforms, where would you put that? Because that's the one that I don't, don't really understand. Sure. Let's take a look. Like it may not fit. These are, this is just the first proposal of. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just thinking yeah. if, if there are things that don't fit, then maybe we yeah. need to take another look at the yeah. list, but the list seems super reasonable to me right now. And if I understand how how they how things would fit in, then it's probably it's probably good. Okay, so let's take a look. So con contribution platform. So these are the different platforms that are available within an open source community. Yeah, I would probably put that in project based on the list that's there now. Uh, however, there reasonably we could there could possibly be another context area that we would need. Uh, but I think project is where I would drop it. Maybe we need to just tweak the definition of that, sure. um, because it feels like not just the collection of people and software that work together, but also where they do their work. Uh, yes, yeah, actually, I didn't see that def definition. I would remove people from I would remove people from project because I think community community is the people. Yeah, and the, the project is the space. Well, yeah, and so thought project software and community all seem like I could I could label lots of metrics to be related to those things. Yeah, but let's get I, rid I of the collection of people and software. Um, I would say. Platforms. Yeah, when I, so when I, when I people do their work, when I created event project and ecosystem, uh, so when I, when I when I initially came up with those as context tags, the idea is that those that it is a, that it is a space. So it's for those three, it's not really about the people. Uh, mm -hmm. Contributor and community is about the people, uh, but but event project and and ecosystem are. These, these spaces where technology can be based or where activity occurs. Right. Right. So they, it's kind of a subtle difference. And then when I when I was talking to Georg about it, he actually he had confusion between what community was and what project is just because those terms are often used 
kind of interchangeably or it can be unclear. Uh, so there was some in 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 talking to Georg about it, there there was confusion between what about what community was versus project. But for me, I was what is the space and what is the people. Uh, okay. So well, this, I don't think I, I don't think I made it better. <laughs> <laughs> Anonymous penguin. I'm in my trouble. <laughs> I thought that was going to sound better. And then when I wrote it down, I didn't like it. Um, I just feel like an example of like the a platform would help. I, I mean, know. I mean, uh, And then you make that a, yeah. Yeah, AKA platforms yeah. and technology maybe. Yeah, that would work. Yeah, I think I think what um, we've we've had this confusion before actually because one of the focus areas for it might have been for DNI was originally called project or project places or something, and people found it people found it super confusing for whatever reason. Um, but I think if we have a clear definition that people understand, I think that will I think that will help. I do like this list. I mean, I think it. I think it is a pretty comprehensive, I comprehensive came, list that covers a lot of what we of what yeah. we do. I came up with it in about five minutes. So <laughs> if uh, I, I wrote so the well. definitions, <laughs> I wrote the definitions in three. So <laughs> I got you during a well. Session. <laughs> there we go. So if there if there are other context areas or yeah I so then for for Don for this one for collaboration platforms yeah so that would go on project it would just yeah and it's okay just to have one context tag as well yeah. it doesn't okay. have to be two okay no that's that's clear I because I glanced through the list and I it seemed like they mapped pretty well with okay. that one exception and now that we've tweaked the definition I think I'm good so the per oh go ahead Kevin I, I was going to say, I, I, common is probably going to be the easiest because I kind of used common as the uh, kind of that high level framework for what these tags would look like. Because common common was already basically using the the idea of focus areas as context as context areas. Mm -hmm. uh, so, so common is probably going to fit really easily. I think some of the other working groups might be it might be a little bit harder to to sort some of that stuff in. Well, no wonder it looks so intuitive to me for common. So I think DEI is going to be easy as well. I think the, I think evolution and risk, uh, and and value, maybe the, it, when we start trying to place those in there, maybe that's where we see some cracks or we see the need to to edit this list or. And then may just be that we'll need to take a pass over all the metrics and put like things together. If individual working groups, I mean, if this working group, most of the working groups have a metric that could potentially fall in some other working group's domain. So okay. when we start to tag them like this, the like things across working groups are going to come together and they might not be tagged the same thing, but they might ought to be. Yeah. I think it'll make it a lot easier for people to find stuff that aren't those of us that are working on it every day. I agree. Yeah. My, my hope is that it'll add some kind of connectivity between the working groups as well. Yeah. Because uh, it, it does feel to me like a lot of the work is kind of siloed currently. So Kevin, so the proposal is that Kevin and I, we're going to start kind of looking just working group by working group and, you know, assigning, assigning, not assigning, but suggesting is the better yeah. word, but no, just no. suggesting. Um, and then the working groups can, you know, 
say yes or no based on those suggestions. Um, Kevin, do you think it would be, do you think we could do that suggestion here or maybe in this document? You know, where we just put the metrics that would need it. My only the reason I suggested that is because if we're reviewing metrics, I don't want to create confusion on issuing a PR that is context tags and likewise having PRs that are modifying the, like, I don't want to miss something. And if we just put it in one place, I, I agree with you. I think uh, the best place, the best place to sort and kind of organize this would to start would be in a, uh, in a shared, uh, uh, document like you're suggesting. If you want to do it on this document and we can just build a, build yeah. a table, we could, we could build a table here and do it. Uh, or if you want to do it on the, the, in the metric spreadsheet, we could do it there as well. And that certainly makes it easier for the other working groups. This seems to be a pretty good spot. Yeah, I, I would I would be inclined to put it in the in the spreadsheet, and just I would just add another column, like maybe even towards the end, so it's not disruptive for the you know confusing for people. Um, okay, the column G. Can you add two columns, one for keyword tags and one for context area yep. tags, and then the context area tags? You and I can just add them and. They will initially be suggestions, but over time they'll become agreed upon. And and I, I really like having the yeah. two of you do it for all of the working groups, because yeah. I think having a consistent visualization of how how you've defined those metrics will drive more consistency than if yeah. we tried to do it within each other. Yeah, the reconciliation project process I imagined earlier is void. Yeah. Okay, cool. So I'll... I'll get rid of it here and just do it. Yep, no problem. And the only other on this, the only other question that I just kind of keep asking if people have an opinion, I don't know if it really matters, is nobody tells you it's it's an ugly dress. Oh, yeah. Well, so <laughs> we uh the tags the tags could be they could actually be like observed on the um, the metric itself. So it would be like a, a row that says context tags colon, you know, and then the one or two context tags, and then it would be another row that says keyword tags colon, and then the keywords that a group wants to add. We could either do that as observed on the markdown file, or Kevin, I, I'm not sure that I'm getting full understanding, but the other option is to put it as like a property of the document or metadata. So you uh, wouldn't see it as a person, but it would be still available for searching. So when we uh, when we add these into the knowledge base, we would actually we actually do add them in as metadata uh, for the page. Uh, so your your question is about having them as metadata on the GitHub page, right? Yeah, exactly. Okay. Whether or not we see them or we don't see them. I mean, they're there in both cases. Mm -hmm. It's just really weird whether we see them or don't see them. Uh, what is uh, it's possible to uh, comment things out in Markdown, correct? Yeah, I found a few examples of how to do metadata in Markdown. Yeah, usually uh, some kind of HTML tagging hack. Yeah. Well, it, seems, it seems possible. So it's really just a question of should do we do we want people to see these tags or, or do we not want them to see them if we're going to organize content based on the tags i think it would be really annoying to be unable to figure out how the content got to be organized that way so i would show them the tags okay no problem uh, you know they're small rows yeah yeah i i don't mind them being visible uh but if you don't want them to be visible can we we could add them to the markdown documents with the, uh, uh, I think GitHub allows for, uh, for comments, right? It's the, yeah, it does. We could yeah. definitely add it as a comment, but if it's, if, if you want them to be visual, then it just that that's much easier. Yeah. I, I think they should be visible. I think it's okay. good for people to see how they got there. No problem. 
So and those, uh, I think the what I was thinking on the template there would be the so we have the name of the metric and then the question, and then we would have a, a space for the context area tag, and then below that we would have a space for the uh, keyword keyword tags. Yep. And in the metrics template, we can we can drop in a, a paragraph uh, that gives some some guidance on how to uh, define those terms and keywords. No problem. Okay, that's I think that solves that. Thank you. Yeah, that sounds good. I think we've we've hit the end of the agenda. Is there anything else anybody wants to talk about? What was it for me? That was it for me. <clears throat> okay. I think we're good then. Look All at right. this. I'm giving me a few minutes back. Wow. Excellent time in your day. Good, good job, team. Thank you, everybody. <laughs> All right. Thanks, everybody. Bye. Bye.